study shows that dengue patients with critically low platelet counts do not require platelet transfusions to get better as long as they don't have other complications. Now, platelets are cells that help your body, your blood rather, to clot. Now, the study involved four local public hospitals and University Malaya Medical Center. A typical person has a platelet count of between 150,000 and 250,000 per microliter of blood. Majority of patients with dengue will have levels below 100,000. 10 to 20 percent of them will see critically low levels of 20,000 or less. In such cases, they are likely to be admitted to the hospital and receive platelet transfusions to prevent the possibility of internal bleeding. This is what a dengue patient will typically get during a transfusion and one bag will require contributions from four donors. Researchers hope the shift to supportive care will free up supplies for those who need it, especially in the event of a dengue outbreak. Patients who do require transfusions have complications such as severe bleeding. This affects about 5% of dengue patients. Findings from the study show that most patients with critically low platelet counts will recover by themselves after a few days. The issue here is when the platelet drops to a critically low level. Most of the clinicians will feel unsafe not to do something. So in other words, most of the clinicians will go ahead to transfuse platelet to this group of uncomplicated uh, patients. And this study shows that, in fact, this is not necessary to do so. Transfusion, just like any medical procedure, runs the risk of side effects like a severe allergic reaction. So researchers say doctors should focus on supportive care. For instance, dehydration is a key concern for dengue patients, so treatment could include fluid therapy. Professor Liu says previous studies done in this area have started a shift in how doctors traditionally manage the virus. She hopes this study will further reduce hospital admissions. More of the community doctors are getting more comfortable in taking care of the patients in their own clinic setting without referring them to the hospital, without referring them uh, for admission. So I think these trends will continue to shift the focus of uh, dengue care into primary care and leaving the more complicated case in the tertiary care. Researchers will next look at the cost effectiveness of transfusions and how resources that are freed up could be used in other ways. In other